The End Zone, sponsored by Raider Pump and Supply. Welcome into the end zone. Week two action. All finals on the goal line ticker. We are pigskin packed tonight. Let's get started in Class 6A. Wichita Falls Memorial. In town visiting friendship. First quarter, no score, fourth and inches. Mavericks take the Wildcat. Kingy Johnson with the score. Mavs up 7-0. Tigers showing some work on the ground. Jordan Hernandez taking a hit from Hunter Talley. Gets back on his feet. Still moving the ball. Very next play, Holden Phillips liking what he sees. So does Leighton Stone. Check it out in the sky, bringing it down. Right now, friendship on top by 14, 49-35 in the third. They had a weather delay. Coronado taking on number nine, Lubba Cooper. Mustangs looking to put some moves together. Sion Vahia goes by uh, and gets the senior, gets the sack. And then the ensuing pirate possession, Ryan Rodriguez Jr. going up top to the Texas Tech football commit, Michael Deaver, it's 14-0 LCP. Mustangs ensuing possession, Isaiah Vasquez, the reverse to Allen Gant, the senior break and tackles, he's gonna fly. The Arizona State commit going 75 yards, but it's Lubbock Cooper getting the win tonight, 45-17. Monterey. Plain in Texas this week at Abilene Wiley. Plainsman Kyrie Baxter breaking it off something proper of 25 yards for Coach Thrash's Plainsman. Monterey then, Des Williams getting the 15-yard touchdown and Monterey had a 7-0 lead, tied at 7. Here's Wiley, Bear Mang's pass going to Gage Hennington in the end zone. And the Bulldogs led 14-7. No updated score on this one. We'll get it to you. We got Plainview at Pampa. Zach Thomas, the Red Raider in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, returning to where he played at Pampa. They dedicated the stadium in his name, Zach Thomas Stadium. Bulldogs trying to spoil the fun. Seth Mayberry to Maddox Ellis, the deep ball. That sets up Blaze Chambers for the run. Simply refusing to go down, blazing through the Harvester defense, gets down to the one. Thomas then signing some autographs out there, and then Chambers, he'd get the rock and find pay dirt. Plainview gets a big win tonight at Pampa, 51-18. Congrats to Wyatt Martinez, interim head coach, Seminole. At number eight, shallow water. Indians on the attack. Wyatt Holmstrom underneath to Stephen Davis. Shedding off a would-be tackler. He'll go all the way down the sidelines. Called out at the one. Seminole would score right after that with a rushing TD. Still in the first. Holmstrom lofting it up to the big man. Calvin Petty coming down with it. Big catch. 14-0 Indians. Shallow water then threatening. Fourth and two. Clayton Vincent going to find Pierce Kinney. That's a Mustang touchdown. Seminole pulls it out. 14-10 on the road. Herford. At Estacado, 7-7, score Christian Martinez, but picked off by Noah Zamora. That'll take more than one Matador to get him down to the turf. The Hereford Herd being heard. Then some trickery here. Tell Bryant, looking to throw, it hit the tight end, Zayden Rincon. And Hereford was up 21-7. Later, Hereford with the punt. The patience from junior Cedric Ross, picking it up. Right here, and then the track race is on, taking it down the sidelines, cutting it inside, making a few men miss, and he's taking it all the way back for six. Estacada trying to get back in it. We'll update that score when we get it. Lubbock Cooper Liberty, an idler. Wildcats up 6-0. Cutter Houchin tossing it to Gentry Pounds. Fumbled, recovered by Lane Miller for Liberty. And then Colton Bouchard to Talon Wilcox for the touchdown. Then in the third, Houchin finding Cooper Hammock Wilson, who gets it to the 25. Then Gentry Pounds taking it up the middle. He'll get in for the touchdown. Idle coming back to win yet again this week. 2-0, 33-27. Snyder at San Angelo Lakeview. Chris Alviso under center, looking to your right and his left and lets it fly. The receiver, Chris Rodella, gonna get into the end zone without issue for the first touchdown for Lakeview. Then Alviso, deep throw. 
but wide receiver Francisco Ramirez brought down in enemy territory. Alviso again, this time running to his right. The Tigers don't get him, and he's going to glide into the end zone to give a 14-0 lead to Lakeview. But Snyder fighting back. They win it 40 to 34. Anthony Gonzalez first win as the Tigers head coach. Littlefield at Denver City. Mustangs down 7 0. Abe Velasco going to come right into your ever living room, knocking on the door. For some pizza. It's 7 7. In the third, Chip Green, a sight to be seen. The QB keeper, and look at him, a little sweeper going through the Denver City defense. Green taking it in for the touchdown. Nifty moves. He got the moves like Jagger. 21 7 Littlefield. Green then, maybe tired, this time he'll go to the air and get it to Gabriel Villanueva. Littlefield, big win, they're 2-0, they win it 35-14. Slayton at Brownfield, homecoming night for Brownfield. The game started late to, due to lightning, but they didn't let the, that rain on their parade. Benjamin Estrada, the handoff, Trey Timmons bringing in the first touchdown of the night, and it is for the Brownfield Cubs. As he gets into the end zone, name of the show. And then the pass here, Slayton's Zamian Davila. The Tigers making progress down the field, 20 yards, a big fight against Brownfield. We'll have to update this score when we get it. We've got Lamisa at Mule Shoe. Mule striking first. The give to Josue Sagala. He'll spin his way in for the score. Six nothing Mules. Mule Shoe then says, hey, let's go for two. Jason Richards likes rolling the dice. Direct snap to Sagala. He'll roll out and find Ryan Dominguez for two. It's eight nothing Mules. Lamisa trying to answer. Daniel Ramos. The pass tipped, picked off by Mauricio Herrera. The Mules back in business. And from there, it's Josue Sagala, again, a nifty-looking touchdown, 18 yards out. Mule shoe all over La Mesa tonight, 60 to 35. They're in the third quarter. When we come back, more scores and highlights. Stay with us.